The former president and vice president of the Russian Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, has warned Germany after the start of the Ukrainian attack on Russian territory, as Kiev's troops used German tanks. Medvedev referred to the German tabloid build, saying that the said media has published a revanchist article where it proudly announces the return of German tanks to Russian soil. He warned that in response, Moscow will do everything to bring the newest Russian tanks to the Platz der Republik, the famous landmark in the German capital, Berlin. The German newspaper Bild has published a revanchist article where it proudly announces the return of German tanks to Russian soil. In response, we will do everything to bring the newest Russian tanks to Platz d. Republic, he wrote in X. Recall, the German foreign ministry has commented on the events in Russia's Kursk Oblast and stated that Ukraine has the right to self-defense on Russian territory. Recently, he said that Russia needs to learn lessons from the Ukrainian army's actions on the border with the Kursk region and resolutely crush the enemy. Ukraine has the right to self-defense enshrined in international law. This is not limited to its own territory, the German foreign ministry said in a comment to Politico. It is stressed in the article that many politicians from Germany's opposition party, the Christian Democratic Union, have also explicitly supported the offensive by Ukrainian forces and the use of German weapons on Russian territory. We need to learn a serious lesson from what happened and do what Chief of the General Staff Valery Gerasimov pledged to the Supreme Commander-in-Chief to do, that is, resolutely defeat and crush the enemy, he said. Medvedev stressed that, the reasons and goals of the terrorist operation of Ukrainian Nazis in the Kursk region have been thoroughly and objectively analyzed. In his opinion, Kiev was particularly guided by a desire to demonstrate the best sides of its dwindling forces to its masters in order to get more money and weapons, as well as to make Russia redeploy some of its forces from the line of engagement to Kursk and Belgorod, temporarily making making a failure look like a success in the information field. Ukrainian forces are pushing further into the Kursk region of Russia, in a cross-border incursion. At present Ukrainian armed forces are building fortifications in the Kursk region, fighting with the Russian armed forces 15 kilometers from the city of Ulgov and 30 kilometers from Kurchatov. According to Russian war correspondent Mikhail Zvinchuk, the area of conditional control of Ukrainian formations in the Sudza district has expanded to 30 kilometers. The Ukrainian armed forces are moving in high-speed dashes and bypassing pockets of resistance to the Russian army along bypass roads. The settlements of Kazakhyalochnya, Myrny, Kruglik and Bondarevka have been taken. In the south, Ukrainian formations entered Mardinovka and tied up the troops there in battle. Simultaneous battles were fought at the entrance to Koronivo, and attempts were also made to take Algovka with Kremayanoi. According to Mikhail Zvinchuk, the Ukrainian military began to use the uniforms of Russian military personnel and civilian medical transport to capture positions and checkpoints of the Russian armed forces. As Zvinchuk writes, 15 kilometers south of the city of Ulgov, fierce battles are taking place in the surrounding settlements. Ulgov is the center of the Lgovsky district of the Kursk region. The city's population is about 17,000 people. The armed forces of Ukraine have already begun digging in at the achieved lines, introducing a second echelon. The enemy has begun to build fortifications in the Kursk region. The enemy continues to transfer infantry fighting vehicles, armored personnel carriers, tanks and armored vehicles to the territory of the Russian Federation, writes Russian military correspondent Yuri Kotnok. Helicopters of the armed forces of Ukraine have also been spotted in the Sudza area. According to war correspondent Kotnok, separate sabotage groups are located approximately 30 kilometers from Kurchatov, where the Kursk nuclear power plant is located. At the moment, it is premature to talk about the threat of the enemy capturing a strategic facility. Nevertheless, the situation is alarming. An advisor to President Volodymyr Zelensky, who like some other officials spoke on the condition of anonymity to discuss the operation, confirmed the Ukrainian military activity inside Russia and said its forces had seized about 100 square kilometers. 
In this situation people in the region have complained that there was no organized evacuation, that the Ukrainian incursion caught them by surprise, and that they left their homes without belongings and documents in the middle of the night. They cannot contact relatives left behind, they said, because the mobile network is not working in the area. The Kursk offensive has put new pressure on Putin as Russian civilians have had to be evacuated under the same type of bombardment Ukrainians have endured for more than two years.